Kenya Red Cross Society is a humanitarian organization uh, with the sole responsibility that during emergencies the act of the Red Cross would be to complement the efforts of the government in bringing assistance to people that are distressed by disasters, whether man-made or natural. These disasters are broadly defined, whether they're health disasters, whether they're food, or even the sudden onset disasters like um, floods and uh, and collapsed buildings. Traditionally, the Red Cross has not been very involved with water and sanitation. We have been during emergency time, but over the last two years after Kenya Red Cross has structured, in, in late 2007, early 2008, water and sanitation became a department. In 2009, close to 10 million people in Kenya faced starvation due to prolonged drought. In Mandera County, more than 28,000 people were affected as water bodies dried up causing an upsurge of waterborne diseases and loss of livestock. <laughs> The northeastern region of Kenya has been plagued by severe drought, with the larger Mandera district being classified as highly food insecure. Takaba is rated second worst food and secure area, with this mainly being attributed to inadequate water supply. These issues are further compounded by insecurity and inter-clan conflict. Takaba in particular, we know since 2005, 2006, 2007 droughts, uh, there hasn't been a single borehole in this area. The best has been earth dams that would normally dry during the dry season. The whole of the district that is Mandera West had, has had no uh, permanent water source since uh, independence. We used to depend basically on uh, pans that, uh, that impound water during the rainy seasons. And you know, due to percolation, evaporation, uh, seepage, they normally dry up. And for the, for the bigger part of the, the years after the drought, we normally depend on water tracking, which has been very expensive and not sustainable for us on the, on the part of the government. Maji ilikuwa tunapata kutoka Elwak, masafa ya kilomita mia moja na sabini kutoka patakava. Maji ilishinda kutosha watu na gari huwa nafunjika barabara mbaya. Wanainchi sasa walivamia chini ya mulima. Women and children suffer most during the drought period as they bear the responsibility of looking for water. Traveling long distances in search of water has a negative impact on their lives. Kwanza shida ya maji wa mama ndo wanapata sana hata sio wanaume. Kwa sababu wanaume akiona sasa ni drought wanaenda huko Nairobi. Kwa mama tu ndo wanabaki hapa wanateseka hapa. Zamani wasichana wanaweza ienda shule. Akifika tu mwezi 10 eh, miaka 10 wanaenda kushota maji na mgongo. Alafu ile maji chafu tukishota tukiletea watoto watoto wanapatanga homa kuhara na kutapika. We needed to seriously look at how to make these communities more resilient, how to um, uh, put in infrastructure and train communities so that they will be better prepared. The Takaba Drought Response Project, the components have included the extension of a water pipeline, a 13 kilometer water pipeline from an already existing borehole called the Hanitu borehole. The government 
through the National Water and Pipeline Corporation, had managed to sink a borehole over 300 meters deep in Takaba. They've tried this several times before and, and hit dry boreholes. But this time, by the grace of God, hit a really big borehole, yielding 30 cubic meter per hour. After, after we struck water there, we lobbied through the DSG to other stakeholders and partners, and Red Cross came forth to help us pipe that water for, from Tuangai Dam to Takaba. The whole system is new to us, the, as a people of Takaba. But Red Cross has trained the existing water utilization to manage this water supply sustainably so that they can generate revenue from the uh, water supply. Well, water tracking is not only expensive, it's not sustainable also. So cost, costs have been cut on our side when it comes to this uh, water project. It has gone a long way in helping us as a government and uh, the people of Takaba in having access to this very precious commodity. FAST is an acronym for Participatory Hygiene and Sanitation Transformation. This is a metho methodology that is used uh, for training community members on hygiene promotion. We got uh, some community members and uh, we trained them for 10 days on this FAST methodology. <laughs> Its main principle is that once we train a group of community members, they'll now move to the community and uh, replicate um, the training that they receive on the various hygiene uh, promotion um, activities. Other egg components of the project have been preventive health care, where we've been actually supported the government through the Takaba Sub-District Hospital to actually carry out immunization campaigns in uh, hard to reach areas. We've been giving uh, monthly medical uh, extension services. The children were dying of uh, diseases which are normally preventable through immunization and uh, the situation has since changed since we, uh, we started doing these mobile medical outreaches. We managed to reach so many children, so many mothers uh, with immunization and antenatal care. One of the devastating effects of drought is hunger and pupils have been moving out of school. This has had the cumulative effect of now trying to lower down the literacy levels. So to maintain that and even to improve that, we've been giving support to school feeding program in uh, 10 primary schools, especially for the boarding pupils. The Norwegian Red Cross uh, were the funders of this project and uh, they have uh, supported uh, our objectives in water. I can definitely see the differences. I was here in, uh, in May this year and uh, that was just after the rains. Now I see what kind of problems they are facing uh, when you're hitting the drought period. It is evident that now they have water and it's clean water from a borehole, which they never had before. My hope is that we can get, we can site some other boreholes in the district. We get maybe stakeholders and uh, partners to help us maybe drill them so that pressure that is currently on the Wangedan borehole is reduced and shared among the other boreholes. We want to achieve the Millennium Development Goal or at least help the country to achieve the Millennium Development Goal which is to reduce the number of people who do not have access to safe water by half. Water 
and sanitation and immunization are the two major public health measures that have been known to improve the health and the living standards of the population. But I don't think we are uh, we're able to say we're safe um, now and that there'll be no need. There'll be lots of other needs uh, to look at this community. My prayer is that, um, that we can harvest rainwater big time in this country. We end up drilling lots of boreholes, which we are, we are using lots of underground water as opposed to using surface water. Mission <laughs> 